Welcome to the original Exerball workout. During the course of this video, you will be learning a revolutionary way to improve your fitness and health. The Exerball workout is being discovered by people of all ages as a truly unique way to get a great total body workout right in your own home. The key is the Exerball's round surface, which enables you to train muscles in ways not possible with floor exercises or conventional gym equipment. It's perfect for isolating the buttock, thigh, and abdominal muscles. And there's no better way to stretch and strengthen your lower back, a problem area for millions. And it's the newest way to get a challenging low-impact aerobic workout. This video is designed for people of all fitness levels. The exercises range from easy to very difficult. Concentrate first on the ones that you can do while maintaining proper form and control. This is essential to maximize your training results. As you become comfortable with the basics, move on to the more advanced exercises. Later, you can also increase the number of repetitions, and you can add time to your aerobic conditioning. Feel free to pause the tape on those exercises you want to practice, or when you decide to go for that extra burn. Whether your goal is weight loss, toning and shaping, flexibility, strength, or aerobic fitness, the original Exerball workout does it all. Exercise and safety tips. Consult your doctor before beginning any exercise program. Always use caution and common sense when performing exercises. Many of them require more strength, balance, and coordination than you'd expect. Breathe slowly and deeply. Do not hold your breath. Pay close attention to specific instructions for low back and pelvic positioning. When starting out, consider having someone spot you or use a nearby wall to help you balance. Proper positioning and technique are very important to achieve maximum results with the Exerball. Certain basic skills should be learned first. Pelvic tilts. Pelvic tilts control the safe positioning of your low back while performing different exercises with the Exerball. The backward tilt is especially important for isolating the buttock and abdominal muscles for a better training effect. With practice, pelvic tilts will become second nature. The backward tilt. To do a backward pelvic tilt, lie on the floor with your knees bent. Flatten your back against the floor by tightening the abdominal and buttock muscles. Hold this position for two to five seconds, then relax. Practice by repeating this movement eight to 10 times. The forward tilt. To do a forward pelvic tilt, lie on the floor with your knees bent. Arch your back up from the floor slightly. Your buttocks should still be on the floor. Feel your low back muscles tighten as the space between your lower back and the floor increases. Hold for one to two seconds, then relax. Practice by repeating this movement eight to 10 times. The all fours tilt. Position yourself on your hands and knees. Allow your low back to drop downward and hold for two to five seconds. This is a forward pelvic tilt. Now round your low back upward like an angry cat by tightening your buttock and abdominal muscles and hold for two to five seconds. This is a backward pelvic tilt. Practice by alternating between the forward and backward tilt positions and repeat eight to 10 times. The 
neutral, or flat back position. Find this position by stopping at a point midway between the forward and backward tilts. This mid-range position will vary for each individual. Firming the buttocks and abdominal slightly is necessary to hold this position. Pelvic tilts on the exer ball. Sit on the ball with your back straight and feet shoulder width apart. Sit slightly forward of center to allow your weight to balance between the ball and your feet. Perform a forward tilt by arching your lower back. This can be assisted by a slight backward roll of the ball. Perform a backward tilt by rounding your lower back, tightening your abdominal and buttock muscles. This can be assisted by a slight forward roll of the ball. Repeat eight to 10 times, alternating forward and backward tilts. Now that you've learned these basic building blocks, you're ready to do the Exer Ball workout. During this original Exer Ball workout, we will cover the following areas. Warm up, ball aerobics, buttocks, thighs, and legs, abdominals, back, chest and arms, and cool down. Warm up. The Exer Ball warm up starts by lying down on your back. Reach up overhead with both arms. Take several deep breaths as you gently extend your hands and feet as far as they will go. Bring one knee up to your chest and hold for 10 to 30 seconds. Repeat on the other side. Bring one knee across your body and hold for 10 to 30 seconds. Similar to before, repeat on the other side. Bend your knees and rest your feet on the floor. Perform pelvic tilts, alternating from forward to backward, eight to 10 times. Sit on the ball. Perform pelvic tilts, once again alternating from forward to backward. Now shift your hips from side to side without changing your head or upper body position. Keep your shoulders level and continue alternating several times. Slowly walk your feet forward. At the same time, begin to lay back until you can rest your head on the ball. 
reach your arms back over your head and keep your feet spread apart with your knees bent. Roll back until you feel a stretch in the mid and low back region. Hold this position for five to 10 seconds. Next, roll forward until your head is at the top of the ball. Hold this position for five to 10 seconds. Continue alternating between these two positions. If you feel lightheaded, tingling in the hands or neck discomfort, try supporting your head with your hands. Be careful not to go too far back and lose your balance. If any discomfort occurs, you should discontinue this stretch. Next, crouch alongside the ball. Lay sideways on the ball, raising your arms above your head. Keep your top leg straight and your bottom leg bent. Keep your top hip directly above your bottom hip. Your waist should be near the highest part of the ball. Rest your lower hand on the floor. Hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds, then repeat on the other side. Sit on the ball and begin to bounce gently. This concludes the warm-up. Ball aerobics. Ball aerobics training is the newest way to get a great cardiovascular workout using the original Exerball. Ball aerobics combines movements of the arms and legs while bouncing. These exercises will work the abdominals, buttocks, thighs, legs, back, chest, and arms. In addition, this workout will provide a terrific challenge to your balance and coordination skills. Bouncing. Sit on the ball, keeping your feet shoulder width apart and your back straight. Sit slightly forward of center to allow your weight to be balanced equally between the ball and your feet. Gently bounce up and down, starting the movement with your feet and legs. Be careful not to bounce too high. Keep your feet on the floor and your buttocks on the ball. Also, it's very important, do not twist or bend your spine while bouncing. Side steps. Step one foot out to the side, then back to center, and continue alternating. Perform double time side steps by alternating sides with each bounce. Front steps. Step one foot out on the first bounce, touching your heel to the floor. Bring your foot back to center with the next bounce. Repeat on the other side and continue alternating. Perform double time front steps by touching opposite heels with each bounce. Wide step. Step both feet out to the sides with one bounce, then back to center. As a variation, cross your feet in front of you as you come back to center. Kick out. Kick one leg straight out in front, then back to center. Continue alternating. Perform double time kickouts by alternating legs with each bounce. Front swing. With each bounce, swing one arm forward and the other arm back. Keep your arms bent at the elbow. Now, extend your arms forward in a punching motion with each bounce. Overhead swing. Swing your arms out to the side and overhead. Repeat this movement eight to 10 times. Arm crosses. As you bounce, cross your arms in front of you 
keeping your arms at shoulder height. Alternate between crossing your arms in front and spreading full wide out to the side. Elbow presses. Keep your arms at shoulder height with your elbows bent. Press your elbows out to the side, then return to center. Continue alternating with each bounce. You now have the basic skills needed to begin combination moves for a great low impact ball aerobics workout. Combining arm and leg moves is very challenging for balance and coordination. You may need to begin by practicing these moves without bouncing until you feel comfortable with them. Target heart rates. To find out if you're exercising in the proper range for maximum fat burning, check your heart rate by taking your pulse at the neck or wrist. Count the number of beats in 10 seconds. Compare this number with the training ranges for your age group. If you are too high or too low, adjust your exercise intensity level accordingly. Continue your ball aerobics workout now until you're ready to move on. Upcoming sections will include interval training and more fun combination moves. Buttocks, thighs, and legs. Basic bridge. Sit on the ball and walk forward. Lie back until your head and shoulders are on the ball. Let your hips and knees bend and lower your buttocks. Maintain a backward pelvic tilt as you raise your buttocks until your back and thighs are horizontal. Very important, do not arch your back. Hold this position for two to five seconds, then relax and lower your buttocks. Repeat the basic bridge eight to 10 times. Advanced Bridge. While holding a bridge position, lift and straighten one leg to horizontal and hold for two to five seconds. Then return your foot to the floor. Relax, lower your buttocks, and repeat, alternating leg to leg. Stabilize yourself with your hands on the floor if necessary. Repeat the advanced bridge eight to 10 times. Straight leg bridge. Lie back on the floor with both heels on the ball, keeping your legs straight. Perform a backward pelvic tilt and raise your buttocks until only your shoulder blades and head are on the floor. Do not arch your back. Hold for two to five seconds, relax, and repeat eight to 10 times. Hamstring curls. Lie back on the floor with both heels on the ball.
Perform a backward pelvic tilt and raise your buttocks. As before, do not arch your back. Roll the ball towards you with your heels. Then roll the ball back until your legs are straight again. Maintain your pelvic tilt throughout the entire exercise. Remember, repeat these curls eight to 10 times. Bent knee bridge. Lie back on the floor with your hips and knees bent at 90 degrees. Rest your heels on the exer ball. Begin by performing a backward pelvic tilt. Raise your buttocks off the floor while rolling the ball slightly towards you with your heels. Maintain your pelvic tilt and do not arch your back. Hold for two to five seconds then relax down to the floor. Repeat eight to 10 times. Squats. Stand with the ball between the wall and the small of your back, keeping your feet about shoulder width apart. Now move your feet forward about 12 inches. Maintain a neutral or flat back position throughout the exercise by firming the abdominals and buttocks slightly. Slowly bend your knees down to a squat position. Stop when your knees are bent at 90 degrees. Your knees should be directly over your feet. Return to a standing position and repeat eight to 10 times. Thigh squeeze. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet on the floor. Maintain a backward pelvic tilt. Hold the ball between your knees and squeeze your thighs together for two to five seconds. Do not arch your back. Relax, then repeat eight to 10 times. The lunge. Stand with your feet together, holding the ball just in front of your chest. Maintain a neutral or flat back position. Take a large step forward with one foot until your front knee bends to about 90 degrees. You should feel your back knee almost touch the floor. Return to the original position and repeat on the other foot. Do not bend forward at the waist or allow your back to become rounded. Repeat the lunge eight to 10 times, alternating from side to side.
Interval Training. For interval training, perform the following combination aerobic moves to raise your heart rate. First, try combining front arm swings with front steps. Now change to a combination of front arm swings and side steps. Continue interval training until you're ready to move on. Abdominals. Sit to bridge. Sit on the ball and perform a backward pelvic tilt. While maintaining a pelvic tilt, walk out to a basic bridge position while gradually lowering your back onto the ball. Hold the bridge for two to five seconds, then walk backwards and return to a seated position. Do not arch your back. When starting out, use your hands to assist you. Repeat eight to 10 times. This exercise can also be done at half speed to further increase abdominal effort. Beginner crunches. Lie back onto the ball, hands behind your head and elbows back. Walk forward so that your torso is slightly higher than your thighs. Perform and maintain a backward pelvic tilt at all times. Raise your shoulder blades off the ball and hold two to five seconds. Do not flex your neck or poke your chin. Relax down until your shoulder blades almost touch the ball but do not relax the abdominals fully. Remember, maintain your backward pelvic tilt. Repeat these crunches eight to 10 times. Beginner obliques. Start in the same position as with the beginner crunches. As you raise your shoulder blades off the ball, rotate your shoulders slightly to one side. Hold for two to five seconds. Relax and repeat eight to 10 times, alternating from side to side. Advanced crunches. Lie back onto the ball with your hands behind your head and elbows back. Walk backwards slightly so that your thighs and torso are horizontal. Maintain a backward pelvic tilt at all times. Raise your shoulder blades off the ball and hold for two to five seconds. Be careful not to flex your neck or poke your chin. Relax down until your shoulder blades almost touch the ball. Repeat this advanced exercise eight to 10 times. Advanced obliques. Begin in the same position as with the advanced crunches. Raise your shoulder blades off the ball, rotating your shoulders slightly to one side. Relax and repeat eight to 10 times, alternating from side to side. As with all abdominal exercises, be careful not to arch your back. Here are some additional interval training exercises. 
Remember, perform the following aerobic combination moves to raise your heart rate. First, try combining arm crosses with side steps. Next, change to elbow presses with side steps. And finally, try elbow presses with kickouts. The back. Arm and leg raises. Rest over the exer ball on your hands and knees, keeping the abdominals firm and your lower back flat. Raise one arm and the opposite leg up to a horizontal position. Keep your pelvis and shoulders level and do not arch your back. Hold for two to five seconds. Relax and repeat on the other side. Continue alternating for eight to 10 repetitions. As an easy way to learn this exercise, First, try it by raising one arm at a time, keeping your knees on the ground. Then try one leg at a time, keeping your hands on the ground. Progress by trying the arm and leg combination. Do not raise legs or arms past the horizontal position. Back extensions. Kneel on the floor with both feet against the wall. Bring the ball against your hips. Lay over the extra ball so that your lower back is rounded and bring your hands behind your head. Raise your chest off the ball a few inches, making a straight line from your hips to your head. Hold for two to five seconds. Feel your lower back and buttock muscles working. Relax down onto the ball. Then repeat eight to 10 times. Do not arch the lower back when raising up off the ball. Superman. Start down on your knees with your toes just touching the wall. Roll the exer ball close to your hips. Then lie your chest over the top of the ball, relaxing your arms and neck. Perform a backward pelvic tilt, keeping your abdominals and buttocks firm. Push off with your legs and raise your chest as you straighten your arms out in front of you. Your legs, torso, arms, and head should all be in one straight line. Hold for two to five seconds, then return to the original position. Repeat eight to 10 times. For a more challenging version, hold weights in your hands while performing this exercise. Start very gradually with one or two pound hand weights. You can also use alternate arm positions, such as hands behind your back or arms out from your body. Remember, do not arch your lower back or raise your head. Side raises. Rest your outside foot against the wall while crouching down on the other knee. Bring the extra ball alongside you and lie sideways on the ball. Place your hands behind your neck and keep your elbows back. Raise your torso up off the ball to about 45 degrees from the floor. Hold for two to five seconds, then relax. Do eight to 10 repetitions.
Now switch to your other side and repeat the raises. Try these combo aerobic moves for interval training. These aerobic combinations will raise your heart rate. First, try combining punches and kickouts. Then combine double time punches with double time kickouts. Finish off with overhead swings with kickouts. Keep up the interval training until you're ready to move on. Chest and arms. Ball toss. Lie on your back with your knees bent, holding the ball on your chest. Perform a backward pelvic tilt. While maintaining your pelvic tilt, toss the ball up into the air, pushing up with both hands. Catch and repeat for eight to 16 tosses. For a more advanced ball toss, raise your hips and knees to 90 degrees, maintaining a backward pelvic tilt. Toss the ball as you extend one leg out horizontally, keeping your foot raised above the floor. Alternate legs in rhythm with the tossing. Keep your lower back pressed against the floor. Push-ups. Start by kneeling on the floor with your chest on top of the ball and hands on the floor. Walk forward on your hands and let the ball roll under you to about waist level. Maintain a straight body position from head to toe by keeping your abdominals and buttocks firm. Lower your chest down and perform push-ups by bending at the elbow. Repeat eight to 10 times. Do not arch your back, shrug your shoulders, or poke your chin. For an advanced push-up, walk forward on your hands until the ball is under your knees. Maintain a straight body position and perform eight to 10 push-ups. You may also walk forward on your hands until the ball is under your feet to perform the most challenging set of push-ups. Roll up, push up. Lie your chest over the extra ball and walk out on your hands until the ball is under your knees. Keep your abdominals and buttocks firm to maintain a straight body position. Roll the ball forward with your knees until your legs are fully flexed. Then roll the ball back. Now do a push-up. Then roll the ball forward and backward again. Repeat the roll-up push-up eight to 10 times. Here's another set of interval training exercises. Start these aerobic combinations with overhead swings and wide steps. Next, move on to overhead swings with leg crosses. Rounding out this set, arm swings with double time kickouts. Perform these combo moves until you're ready for the cool down. Cool down. Sit on the ball and spread your feet apart, keeping your back straight. Roll slightly to one side until you feel a stretch in the inner thigh. Hold for 10 to 30 seconds. Repeat on the other side.
Lie alongside a doorway so that one leg extends through. Walk the ball up the wall until it rests behind your calf, keeping your knee straight. Slide your buttocks closer or farther from the wall until you feel a stretch in the back of your thigh. Hold this stretch for 10 to 30 seconds. Repeat on the opposite side. Kneel on your left knee and hold the ball next to you on your right side. Lean forward and feel the stretch in the front of the left thigh. Raise your left arm and side bend to the right to increase the stretch. Use the ball for balance. Hold for 10 to 30 seconds. Repeat on the other side. Next, lie sideways on the ball and hold for 10 to 30 seconds. Now switch sides and repeat. Kneel down in front of the ball. Lie your stomach over the top of the ball and rest your hands on the floor. Let your legs hang loosely, bending at the knees, with only your feet touching the floor. Gently roll back and forth, feeling the stretch in your lower and mid back. Kneel down in front of the ball. Lean forward, placing your forearms onto the ball. Raise your chest upward and hold two to five seconds. Relax and let your chest drop or sag toward the floor. Finally, lie back onto the ball and perform a back stretch. Alternating positions every five to 10 seconds. Return to a seated position. Congratulations! You've just completed a great total body Exer Ball workout. We hope you have enjoyed the original Exer Ball workout. As with any exercise routine, it requires dedication, concentration, and practice. Remember, focus on proper technique and performance. Maintaining correct posture and control will maximize your training benefits. As you continue to improve with your workouts, we think you will see why using the Exerball is such an ideal way to stay in shape. People all over the country are discovering this revolutionary program as a safe, fun, and inexpensive way to a great total body workout. From all of us at Exerball Products, have fun staying fit with the original Exerball.